This is the future. Good day, my old and new Cribsonians, and welcome back to part 2 of the Fire Marshal video. Today we are going to discuss a little bit about what a fire is, how does it, how does it start, exist, and how to kill it. To successfully fight the fire, you need to understand a fire, how it starts, grows, eats and dies at the end. This video will be the first half on fire behavior. So let's begin. And as with the previous video, if you want to see a short summary of what this video is about, you will have to go straight back to the end of the video. Let us start with modes of combustion. Now this video is going to become a little bit sciencey, but I'm going to try and keep it as simplistic as I can. Because if you really want to go into the existence of a fire and how it works, it can get really, really complicated. Especially when you have to start working uh, on a scientific level. So we're going to try and keep it as plain and simple as we can. Combustion is a rapid and self-sustaining chemical reaction that yields heat and usually light. A fire is born from combustion. So what is a fire actually? A fire can be described as a living thing. And just like any living thing on this planet, it needs three components to survive or to even exist. It needs heat, air and fuel. And then between the three components, there will be a chemical reaction. And that chemical reaction is what actually creates the fire. What is a flame? A flame is simply a chemical reaction that's happening between three components. So you've got this fire and the three components are together causing the chemical reaction. Once you remove any one of these three components, a fire will die. Once the three components are brought together, a self-sustaining chemical reaction will happen between the three components and then the fire will be alive! <laughs> anyway, for you to kill the fire, all you need to do is simply remove one of the three components. If any one of those three components is removed, the fire cannot exist. It, there's no reaction. It cannot be. Now, did you know that it's only the vapors that are burning? It's not the actual object that's burning. Let's take petrol for example. If there were no fumes coming from the petrol, you would be able to put a match inside the actual liquid and nothing will happen. But it's the vapors given off by the petrol that actually ignites, that burns. That's why you can't get close enough with a match to put it into the fluid even if you wanted to. Did you know that wood doesn't burn? Once wood gets warm enough to reach its flashpoint, which is the lowest temperature at which an object can start igniting. The wood itself doesn't burn. Once wood gets warm enough to reach its flashpoint, a process called pyrolysis releases atoms and energy. The unbound atoms causes hot gases that starts mingling with the oxygen. A process called oxidation will then start. When the carbon bonds with oxygen, it produces carbon dioxide and that is a colorless gas that is now the vapors that's given off by the piece of wood and that is what's actually burning when you make another fire for a braai or something look closely to it the flames is running on top of the wood it's not the wood that's actually burning the type of fuel that burns also makes a big difference in our fire will behave. For example, the greater the surface to mass ratio, the more difficult it will be for an object to burn. For example, sawdust. Sawdust can burn instantaneously. That's why dust explosions are so extremely dangerous. Whereas 
if you take a log or a piece of wood, it's going to take much longer and more heat to burn that piece of wood than it would take a piece of paper, for example. So then, that's that for today's video. Just a short introduction on how a fire starts, how it behaves. So let's go do a quick summary. Number one, a fire needs three components to be able to burn. Heat, oxygen and fuel. If all components are together, you will have a self-sustaining chemical reaction. Poof, the fire starts. The type of fuel that burns is important to know because it's going to change the behavior of the fire. And it will also affect the kind of extinguishing agent that you will use to kill the fire, for future reference. Finally, to kill the fire, simply remove one of the three elements and the chemical reaction will stop and the fire will be dead. So in our next video for next week, we will be discussing the second half of our fire behavior, which will be how a fire grows, how it gets transferred or how it moves. And then if you ever wanted to know when is a fire too big to handle with an extinguisher or when is it small enough or when is it just right, then you're going to have to subscribe to this channel because you're going to have to watch the next video. We will be discussing that in our up and coming video. So once again guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to this channel. Hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of my next video that will be uploaded hopefully next time, next week. And uh, as always guys, keep it safe and until next time, cheers. Hey guys, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. Give me a thumbs up because it will really help out this channel. And feel free to drop a comment. Then something new for you all, there is now a Facebook page, so feel free to follow me on my Facebook group. We will be discussing behind the scene features and videos that I have done. Also, don't forget to go to my website at www.cryptzone.co.za where you can go straight to my podcast if you want to by clicking on the podcast icon you'll be taken straight to the anchor podcast page where I do my podcast and remember when you go to my youtube page there will be a place where you can subscribe to my channel um, and remember if you have any comments please feel free to drop me an email and on my youtube front page there is now a paypal donation button where you can feel free to donate to this channel to help it grow and to help to support me thanks for watching and until next time cheers